Welcome back to the stovetop. So today I got a request from my friend to make a video on a hot toddy. Well, I really didn't know very much about them, so I had to do a little bit of research. The first thing I learned is it's spelled T-O-D-D-Y. I didn't even know that. So I knew it was used uh, as somewhat of a remedy or it's kind of a, a an easier going drink, I guess you could say. But that was really all I knew about it. And I guess it's good for a sore throat or when you're feeling kind of feverish or you've got a cold or a sinus infection or maybe even the flu, body aches. It might even work on COVID, I don't know. But it's just supposed to make you feel a little bit better and relieve like a sore throat. So in doing the research, I found out there are lots of variations on the hot toddy. And one of the key things is uh, most of them have whiskey, although I did find some recipes for brandy. So in this video, I'm going to be making one with whiskey and one with brandy. Another thing I found was that some of them called for putting it in tea. And I'm not a big tea drinker, so I didn't want to do that. So the recipes I found simply use hot water in place of tea. So there are so many different variations on this, you may find something that is more appealing to you. But for now, I'm going to just make these two and tell you what I think of them. So let's get started. Alright, so I'm going to talk about the similarities in these two cocktails before I get into what's different about them. So for each, I'll be using a coffee mug. I'm using purified drinking water. I've heated it up in the microwave. It calls for boiling hot water. This isn't boiling, but it's pretty hot. It also calls for a lemon wheel with whole cloves. And the whole cloves are kind of shaped like a spike and you simply just kind of stab them into the side of the wheel there. For time management, what you would do is heat up some water, pour it in the mug, and that hot water is simply just getting the mug hot. You're going to discard the water later. So while you're heating up water or waiting for the mug to, to warm up, you could make the, the lemon wheels. And whole cloves are available at your local grocery store. Also, both recipes call for lemon juice. Now what's different about them is one uses whiskey and one uses brandy. In this case, I'm going to finish off some of this brandy I've got here, but I've got another bottle, another brand. They're both the same grade of, of brandy, just for comparison. Additionally, one calls for brown sugar and the other one calls for a cinnamon stick. So we'll do the whiskey version first. I've already got my mug that's full of hot water and it's been heating up. I'm simply going to discard the water. After you discard the hot water that's been heating up the mug, you simply add some fresh hot water, preferably boiling. You now I'm spilling it here. It's just something that happens, I guess. So after that, you add two teaspoons of brown sugar. Now I've got a tablespoon here. Two thirds of a tablespoon is two teaspoons. So I'm gonna put that in there and then stir that up. to dissolve it. You go ahead and add in your lemon wheel. Stir it again. You're going to put in a quarter ounce of lemon juice. I'm just going to use this shot glass here to measure. It's a little bit more than a quarter ounce, but it'll do and then two ounces of whiskey. In this case, I'm using Old Grandad's. And you stir it again. And that's the whiskey hot toddy. Might be a little bit too hot to drink, but I'm going to go ahead and try. I can smell the whiskey over, well, pretty much everything else.
it's sweet. That lemon is uh, kind of gives it a little citrusy. I mean, you, st you still get the whiskey. It's sweet. It's warm. It's got a little bit of a. It's got a little bit of a tart bite there, from the uh, lemon wheel. The cloves have uh, kind of fallen out of it, so I could do a better job on that. Otherwise, I'm going to end up uh, swallowing a floater over there. But I would call that medicinal more so than something I would uh, I would drink because I was in the mood for one. Now, let me try it with the brandy. So with the brandy, we do the same thing. We discard the hot water. And what you want to do is add two ounces of brandy. That's a little bit less than two ounces. And we're just going to use it up. And this one calls for a quarter ounce of lemon juice. That's a little bit more than a quarter ounce. Now this one calls for two ounces of honey. I've simply taken this spoon and put some honey in it. And I'm gonna stir with that spoon. And that's more than two ounces. And then it calls for the lemon wheel. It's kind of strange putting it in this order. And then a cinnamon stick. Something I bought at the store today. I don't normally uh, keep a cinnamon stick in the house. And then last you add the hot water and it said to just go ahead and top it off with hot water. So this is a little bit short on brandy so it's not entirely accurate. And then go ahead and stir. That's why I left the spoon in there. The honey will melt right off of the spoon. I have a feeling I'm knocking the cloves out of the lemon wheel too. I'm thinking putting the lemon wheel in last would probably keep the cloves from getting knocked out, but I can understand why they would want it stirred around to kind of get some of that into the drink. So let's try this out. This smells different. I can smell the cinnamon more. That's got a different taste to it. You get some of the lemon. You definitely get the cinnamon. Uh, I'd say it's probably... It's, it's sweet throughout the entire drink, whereas the, uh, uh, the whiskey one is not sweet the entire time. This isn't as sweet as the whiskey, but it's, it's more consistent, if that makes any sense. And I believe the cloves stayed in the lemon wheel. It's just flipped upside down. Kind of reminds me a little bit of pumpkin spice. So if I had to pick out of the two which one I prefer, I kind of like the brandy one more so than the whiskey one. But I will tell you this, it's messy. Brown sugar, honey, hot water everywhere, cloves that like to fall out, having to cut up lemons. It's just, it's kind of messy making this sort of thing. So. I, I could see how it'd be a, a, a remedy, but if you decide you want to make this, just make sure that you've, uh, you're you ready to clean up the mess a little bit. Or maybe it's just me. Maybe uh, somebody else out there has a video where they do a much better job. This is my first time making one, and like so many of my other videos, I've learned from this, and I've had fun. 
Hopefully somebody got something out of this. Travis, I hope you're happy. I made a couple hot toddies. Thanks for watching.